show you how to make these cute flower arrangements with stuff from the Dollar Tree. I do apologize for the breaks in the video because my phone is acting up, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, so yes, I know that I'm a little bit early with my fall decorations, but you know, if you have a website, a blog, a channel, I've been doing this for years, you know that you need to stay one season ahead if you possibly can to give people time you know, to, um, to, to make this kind of thing, you know, so that you don't do it last minute, then everybody's trying to rush in, you know, to, uh, to buy up everything. And by that time, everything's probably already sold out and then there's going to be some disappointed people. So yes, I'm starting early. So my Dollar Tree has got a ton of fall flowers out. Y'all saw that in a previous video. Uh, the manager also told me today that they have a lot of fall decorations already in their storerooms. And, well, in the back of the store, you know, <laughs> the storeroom in the store. But um, they're going to be putting that out in the next week or two. Not everything, but she said it's just going to start to slowly trickle out. So, you know, keep an eye on your stores for that. So I just got a handful of these flowers and this is something new. I don't think I saw this in my store last year. It's like this artificial grass with these really funky feathers all in it. And I love that. So I grabbed that just for this project. I got uh, one roll of burlap ribbon, some of this lace ribbon, of course, all Dollar Tree. I have some spray paint here. This is Color Master Paint Plus Primer from Krylon. This works pretty well on glass in the color Satin Almond. I have a hot glue gun over here and some glue sticks. Now, I've already glued this together because I use E6000 and that's the best glue that I think to use on glass and it takes 24 hours to cure. Ah, a gnat, a fly, something. So um, I've already used that and glued these two together. But what this is, this is just a basic candlestick that you get at the Dollar Tree. They have these all the time over with the candles, of course. They have these over there all the time. And this is just a plain mason jar from the Dollar Tree as well. Of course, if you're going to be doing the shorter one, you're not going to need the candlestick. You, you can just um, paint your jar. But if you're going to be making a taller one, like I want to have a tall one and a short one, then um, take the E6000, glue the candlestick to the bottom of your jar, let that sit for a good 24 hours, and then paint it. And before I paint glass, I always, always wipe it down with pure acetone. Yes, you use this to take off nail polish, but this is pure acetone with no, no anything added. You see this other nail polish here, it says with vitamin E for natural nails. Okay, you don't use this to clean glass with because it has a bunch of additives. And it's going to leave behind a residue, kind of, and your paint is not going to stick as well. It's going to chip and peel and bubble later on. Believe me, it will. <laughs> so just wipe your glass down with this acetone. And I sprayed, I believe it was four coats of this spray paint after the glue had dried. I just sprayed everything and let it dry. So now all the boring stuff is out of the way. All you have to do is decorate it. And I just have this old towel here. I'm going to lay on the table just to kind of keep my glass from rolling back and forth here. And this is really, really simple. Like I said, a lot of things I do um, don't even warrant a video, but I like making them. So, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, now it's taped together. Do you see this? They already had a band on it. And I want to have to tape it together to make my life difficult. That's why they do this. And this stuff, um, this burlap room, especially from the Dollar Tree it um it can ravel pretty easily so just be be really careful when you're using it so if you can look on the jar here there's seams that run down the sides I, I try to keep those on the sides so that you know you can't really see them so i'm going to just take this burlap ribbon here try to trim this just a little bit there we go now, if you want to learn how to cut burlap without it fraying really badly, oh yeah, I'm going to put a link up here in my other tutorial that will show you how to do that. So just lay this down, and I'm going to lay my burlap ribbon, and yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. So all I'm going to do is just put like a little line of hot glue here. Oh my goodness, I had my front door open for a while a little bit ago, and like some gnats or something flew in. Don't that just drive you crazy? Just hold that down. Be careful not to burn yourself. Yes, that takes just a second to set up. 
and then just wrap it around however you want. Like I said, this is really easy. <laughs> I mean, super, super simple. I said, you don't need a video for this, but... And my camera cut off, I apologize. But anyway, all I did was just wrap that, that little bit of burlap ribbon around the jar there, and then I glued it to hold it in place. Now I'm going to take some of this lace ribbon here. Well, I said I was. There we go. All right, some of this lace ribbon. I think that glue is still a little bit tacky. And then I would just want to run a line of that around. Give me, oh, I usually have popsicle sticks like laying around for this kind of thing, but I didn't have any now. Okay, just run this lace around. Make sure you have enough to overlap. And I'm going to cut it right about there. Okie dokie. Now let us put, come on, let us put another big blob of glue here. Let's wrap that around. Kind of hold it in place. <laughs> now the glue just like all oozes up. It's kind of cool. You can smash that down if you want to. It's like it's the back. Nobody's going to be seeing it. I mean, if somebody's in your house and they're like picking up your candle holders or vases or whatever and flipping them around to look at them, you know, maybe they don't need to be in your house, you know? It's like, put my stuff down. But there is that. Simple. It's just really, really simple, but pretty. Now I'm going to do this one. Yes, I'm going to bore y'all to death right now. It's okay. I'm just going to put a blob right there. Good Lord. That was a big old blob. Press that down. Okay, so then bring this around. And just hold it in place just for a second. Just smear that around a little bit. Now trim it. Oops, wrong scissors. I've got like 500 pairs of scissors laying around here. Oopsie. Oopsie doodle. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Oh, look, we got a little string. Like I said, this uh, this burlap for Dollar Tree really, really ravels. But I kind of like that, you know, when I'm making stuff like this because it gives it a um, more of a rustic look. Okay, another blob of glue. And then this ribbon. And then bring it around. Bring it around town. And hold it down. <laughs> See the, the glue is showing through there. Okay, snip that. And then just let that dry. And then you just put your flowers in. I mean, you know, how easy is that? Like that. Okay. So now I'm just going to let that glue set up. And then I'm going to take apart some of these flowers over here and put in. And of course, you saw that at the beginning of the video. But um, let's just try to, I want to bring that up a little bit. And you know what? Another cute idea is, you know, you can decorate this with a button. I have a jar of those buttons that I got from Dollar Tree in there. And you know what? I might just go in there right now and get that little jar of buttons and, and see just how cute it would be just to put a little button right there. I love buttons on things. So I'm going to let this glue set up and let me go grab my buttons and we'll see what that looks like. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, I've got my little container of buttons here. I spilled them everywhere, and then I found two that I think are really cute. But you know what? While I was looking for the buttons, I came across this package of twine that I also got from Dollar Tree. Um, actually, this is over in the automotive section. near like the uh, duct tape and stuff like that. And there was uh, two of the natural color and then one spool of green. And I've been using that green out in my garden, and then I got an idea to use it on here. And I'm like, you know what? And, okay. I gotta find the end. I gotta find the end. Here we go. And I thought on this taller one, oopsie, little glue strings. It's okay, I'll get that off here in a minute. And I thought, you know, this is kind of plain looking down here. So I'm gonna find the back here and I'm going to put a blob of glue and I'm going to hold some of this twine down there and let that cool off. And then I want to wrap this twine around here, you know, just to give it a little something. You know, a little something, something. So, so that is not so plain. I was trying to think of some way to dress that up. And yeah, that's, that's going to work for me. 
So this twine can be kind of thin. So, you know, we need to make several passes here. So just pass around and around. Make sure it's even. Around and around. Get back in the camera here. Um, okay, I think that's going to be okay. I do. Just slide that up just a tiny bit. I'll put a little blob of glue. There we go. Yeah, I apologize again. I believe the problem is I need a new phone charger because this one, it's, it's plugged in, but it keeps dying on me. So yeah, I wrapped the twine around the bottom and then I just took a piece of the twine and I ran it through two holes at the button like that. And then I just tied a simple little bow. And now I'm going to put a blob of glue on the back here. I'm going to stick it right there in the center of that lace ribbon. Just hold that down for a second, and then I'll do another one, and I'll glue it onto the other jar. Or maybe I'll, I'll leave that one plain. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But, all right, that is all that there is to that. I do apologize for my phone acting up here. But um, if you would, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all those are in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.